I'm Kitty Gumdrop and you're watching Kitty's channel. So this is a more serious video. Usually I try to make everybody laugh or do something that pops into my head that sounds like a lot of fun. But this week is a little more serious. I have something I've been wanting to quit for a while. Uh, basically since I started. Two years ago I started smoking jewel pods and I got addicted to nicotine. It's not very cool. It's not good. I wish it would go away, which is why I'm quitting now. You guys can hold me accountable for it. If you know that I'm doing this, then it's not me doing it in secret and giving up and being like, I never tried to do that anyway. So I just got home from work today and I'm starting tonight. It is, what's today's date? Uh, today is Saturday, July 25th. All right, or so. Sunday, July 25th, technically. Okay, so it's Sunday, July 25th, and I am quitting my jewel today. <clears throat> I plan on filming over the next week how it goes for me. Um, basically, like, updates. Am I getting headaches? Am I getting grouchy? How am I feeling when I wake up? And after about a week, we'll see how I do. And I will quit. Like, this isn't me going, uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm done. I'm putting it down and I'm done with it. The whole reason I got started in the first place was because of the stupid fruity flavors, the mango one. Michael, when we got together, he actually smoked cigarettes, an unhealthy habit, but he decided when he moved in, since I didn't smoke, he was going to quit because he didn't feel very good about smoking in an apartment that he just moved into when I didn't. So yeah. he decided that he was going to quit and he decided it was an unhealthy habit anyway and he was just done with that and he was moving the next step down. Well, when he moved on to his jewel, Every so often, like, I'd smell the mango smell or the really minty one, and I'd be like, that smells good, let me try that. And when I tried it, eventually I got addicted to it too, and it was a bad situation. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life, but I've been juuling for two years. So I have been addicted to nicotine. And I'm done with it. So I quit. I'm done. I want you guys to hold me accountable. Ask me how I'm doing with it. Um... Make sure that I don't slip back, because I don't plan to. I'm not going to pick it back up again once I put it down. So, that's pretty much what I have for this this week. It's just going to be my journey on quitting nicotine, because it's not good for me. I don't want anything to do with it. And also, I'm tired of spending money on it. I want my money back. I'm done. I am I quit. So, if you're interested in seeing my journey on that, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so this is my first check-in. It's actually been about 41 hours since I had my last puff off of the Jewel. Since I quit nicotine, it's been, yeah, 41 hours. And I slept most of my entire first day because my skin is uncomfortable. Everything is overstimulating to it. It's almost like I have exposed nerve endings on my skin. I have been a little more irritable than usual. I dumped my entire purse out and started cussing at it in the middle of nowhere. Started screaming at people when I was driving and cussing real bad. And I'm actually somebody who has a, a really good handle on their temper. So for me to behave the way I was, was a bit much. I definitely know that this is affecting me. And this is one of the reasons that I chose to do it on my days off. Because I knew I was going to be an, an ass. And I didn't want to be an ass to anybody at work. So you're welcome, guys. <laughs> so one interesting development, other than just me quitting. I did too. Yeah, and once he saw I did. I've been doing this for about 19 years. Mm -hmm. This is hard. It's like one of the hardest things I've ever freaking done. But I'm doing it and I hate it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> That's been about his attitude the whole time. So he's been, he's approaching his 24 hour mark. It's been about 22 hours for him. Give or take, yeah. He didn't get to sleep his whole first day. So uh, he's just been kind of irritable. Understandably, I'm not mad at him or anything. I understand it. I just got to sleep my entire first day. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the whole, like trying to figure out how to cope without it. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. I'm used to any emotion, happy, hit my jewel, angry, hit my jewel, stressed out, hit my jewel, hungry, hit my jewel. Ate dinner, eat, hit my jewel, wake up, et cetera, hit my et cetera. Jewel. But now it's like, oh, you're mad, deal with it. You're hungry, deal with it. You're happy, deal with it. And it's like, what the f do I do about it? <laughs> he's kind of. I'm getting there though, I'm getting there. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he's actually a little worse off than I am about it because I've only been doing it for two years and he's been doing it since, um, he was a child. Since I was six. I'm not encouraging that for anybody. Absolutely yet. not. One of the reasons that we're mentioning this, one of the whole reasons I'm putting this on YouTube, is because this isn't a good habit. It no. needs to be gone. And I want to be able to encourage anybody else who wants to quit. Maybe this will give you the push forward to show that we can do it. Somebody who's done it for a very long time and somebody who just picked it up, we can do it. So, so this has been check-in one. 
our skin hurts our irritability is up for sure and I will give you another check-in in I don't know a couple hours a couple days depending on what happens in the meantime so thank you guys for sticking by us for that see you soon yep sorry for being a bitch <laughs> okay so we're back with our next check-in and I've quit for about 50 hours now it's about 5 a.m. on Tuesday July 27th so yeah about 50 hour mark and I feel pretty good at this point um, I've noticed my face is thickened up you see that my face is a little thicker and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it yet because I'm not used to my cheeks being as full anymore my dimples are back what do you think so how are you feeling I mean I, I uh, decided to incorporate a little bit of nicotine gum mm -hmm. Uh, which is helping a lot. I decided that just quitting it cold turkey for going up, you know, for doing it for as long as I have is just not a great idea. No, he was he was getting like not just grouchy, but I mean like serious mood swings at everything, like getting to the point with shaking rage. He needed a little bit more to wean him off, yeah. which is totally fair. I mean, he's been doing it for so long. I didn't expect that to be easy for him. I expected it to be difficult. So. Yeah, and I'm not like that typically, so like, I feel No, guilty. he's not. He's not. He's not an angry dude whatsoever. He doesn't blow up at home for anything. Work can stress him out. It's a bit of a different story, but at home, he is the most patient, understanding, and non-angry dude. Like, yeah. so for him to be blowing up like that all day, it was getting to him quite a lot. So. Yeah. So we thought we'd get him some nicotine gum to help with the cravings a little bit, and... You know, honestly, screw me. I don't care if I feel bad. I don't want to make everyone around me deal with, deal with me being like that. You that know was one I mean? of the reasons we started on our day off, and I figured I might take a few pieces of it with me to work tomorrow just so I don't take my anger out on anybody. I'm going to try my best not to take any, but if I have to, they're there. Well, not have to, but you know, if... I feel that I might be taking my anger out on other people. I would prefer to chew a little bit of that gum as opposed to make other people feel uncomfortable. So that's just a me thing. However, we're doing well on our path to quitting and this is just our uh, second check-in and we'll see you guys a little further to let you know how we're feeling. Uh, physically, I'm feeling better, by the way. Yeah, no more nausea. No more nausea for sure. I have a mucus issue, a sinus issue that I inherited from my Nana where I constantly have pressure. Actually, you can see that I'm swollen. I forgot to take my mucus pill like right through here. It swells up and makes my nose a little... Oh yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. And I sound a little nasally. But that's because I have a mucus problem and I didn't take my medicine for it today. Um, I forget that sometimes. <laughs> I've been breathing easier and coughing up a lot less mucus since I quit hitting that jewel and I feel better. I just plain feel better. So yeah. it's going good so far. I'm happy we did this and I'll let you guys know how we're doing a little bit further. So it's been an entire week since I've had nicotine at all. I quit my jewel completely. Okay, I guess that's a little bit of a lie. I've had a couple pieces of nicotine gum since then at work when I start getting a little grumpy and I don't want to take it out on anybody else I'll pop a piece of nicotine gum in there but I only have one a day and now today since it's been officially a week since I quit hitting my jewel and threw it away it's in the trash and everything I couldn't hit it even if I wanted to since it's been an, an entire week since I quit hitting my jewel I'm done with nicotine completely as in I'm free of it I'm done with it there's a fly trying to crawl on my get out of here <clears throat> so yeah I'm free of that prison at least I don't have to deal with it anymore I don't have to think about oh I'm getting low on pods I need to go get some before I get cranky or get any kind of headache which is something else I noticed by the way I didn't get any headaches I don't know if I'm just one of the lucky ones or um, if I wasn't addicted long enough, or if I just have a high enough pain tolerance I didn't notice so much. I don't think it's that one, because uh, I had headaches when I quit drinking caffeine as well. Whew. Those headaches sucked, I'll tell you that much right now. Like, nicotine, I had my own like weird withdrawals, like for example, my skin felt extra sensitive, almost like the nerve endings were exposed a little more. I don't know how else to describe it, it was like I was super sensitive to anything warm and uncomfortable and I was super cold at the same time so it was just a conflicting a conflicting weather front on my skin almost like a tornado was moving in across my skin I had a cold front and a warm front and it was just colliding to make these goose pimples that made me so uncomfortable but once I got past the uh, uncomfortable skin feeling it wasn't really that bad um, it was mostly a habitual thing for me personally I um, 
wanted to hit my jewel after I ate. I wanted to uh, hit it when I first woke up. Basically, simple things, things I was used to. If I got stressed out at work, I wanted to step outside and hit my jewel for a second, but I didn't have those things anymore, so it was just finding new things to think about. Like, for example, if it popped into my head... Um, the worst was the first day. I sat there with the blanket over my head um, most of the day and fell asleep an awful lot in and out, which may be why I didn't notice headaches if I did have them. Then my skin started to feel weird and I had really only like three or four bursts of irritability. I got really upset about not being able to find my keys and dumped my purse out and was just like, yeah, and then found them and was like, okay, let's go, I'm good. And then I had a couple other times that I can't really think of right now where I explode. Oh, I exploded on some guy driving. He didn't hear me, but I did explode about the way he was driving and then Michael's like, you need to calm down. And I was like, no. I was like, I listened to you blow up earlier. You can listen to me for five minutes. And he's like, it's not that. You're driving. You're going to kill us all. And I was sitting there like, oh, fair, fine. Michael's actually not here to give his update right now, but I'm going to speed through it a little bit for him, give you a little bit what he's been going through. Michael has definitely had headaches. Michael has had nausea. Michael has had ir irritability like you wouldn't believe. So much like you wouldn't believe, actually. Not at me or anything. He's just more irritable. Things get to him. His head will start pounding a little more, you know, just stuff like that. Anxiety flares up. Normal things. Which is why we got the nicotine gum. It wasn't even for me. It was for Michael, as we mentioned before when he was talking about it. Simply because he felt like he was uh, more likely to stick to quitting if he had the gum. Something to fall back on. And it's worked so far. He's, he's quit, which I'm really, really proud of him, by the way. He's had nausea, headaches, uh, uncomfortability. Another thing we both have had, I don't know if we're just gaining water weight or if we've gained a little bit of weight. I, mine's only like eight pounds, which I'm not really all that worried about. A few squats here and there, like chug some water and cut out a few carbs and it's gone. I don't really care. If I want it gone, it'll go. However, <laughs> Michael's been rubbing his stomach like, look at this gut I'm getting. And I, I think we're just holding water weight a little more. Uh, we're not being dehydrated as badly from the nicotine. Um, it'll balance out though. Water weight usually does when your uh, body gets used to the new adjustments you've made. So like I said, no big deal about that. Um, as you can see, my dimples are coming back because I have uh, less hollowed cheeks now. I didn't realize they were getting that hollow, but they were getting a little... Mm. So I think I look better. I definitely feel better. And I had this sinus infection that I inherited from my Nana. Thanks, Nana. But I usually have to take a mucus pill every single day, and I didn't take one today, and a couple days ago I didn't take one then either. And I've not been snotting all over myself, which is absolutely fantastic. It's not a good time. One of the reasons I was doing this on YouTube is because I wanted you guys to be able to hold me accountable. That way if I felt like slipping, I knew that people were watching me and they knew what I was doing and it'd be twice as embarrassing to slip back and into a, a habit that I personally find gross and embarrassing for me to be participating in. I'm not throwing shade at anybody else who has, has that habit, but it was just not a habit I wanted in my life anymore. It's not healthy. That's not debatable. It's just not. It wasn't healthy on my wallet, it wasn't healthy on my body, and I was just, I'm, I'm over it. So I wanted that out of my life and that was my personal choice. And I'm hoping that if you were wanting to quit nicotine yourself that this might inspire you because I don't think I suffered as much as some people could have or would have quitting nicotine. Michael's getting more of the brunt of that. But if in any way we can inspire you to quit because he's He's smoked since he was six years old. He started picking them up when he was really, really little. Because he's 24 years old now, so he's he's done it for almost the better part of two decades. Like, <laughs> it's been a long time for him. So he, he definitely went through something really hard. And if he's any kind of inspiration for you to quit, he can do it. And he's a grouchy, grouchy boy -o. Trust me. If he can do it, so can you. I'm very, very proud of him. It's definitely the better decision for our lives. We're happier for it. I'm like, I couldn't be more proud of him. I'm proud of myself, of course. I, I feel like I have a right to be. And I look forward to not having to worry about that kind of thing in the future and just being completely free of that substance on my body. So thank you for joining me on my journey to quit nicotine this week. <laughs> 
that's what I've been doing. I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm sorry if it's not the most entertaining thing, but hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the journey with me and Michael. And again, I know he's not really here to say his piece, but uh, I spoke on his behalf. I'll be representing Michael. If you like this video or if, ah, there's a fly. I know karate. I took like one year of it when I was six. So if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and boop that like button on the nose for me today. Just boop, like right on the little nosy. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys have quit nicotine or if you were thinking about quitting nicotine or what you thought of this whole process because it's not exactly been fun. I'll tell you that much. It's not been as bad as it could be, but it's not been fun. So thank you guys so much for joining me and Michael on this journey. I really appreciate having you because again, this is a personal life thing and Frankly, smoking nicotine was embarrassing and it took a little bit to put me on, put this on the internet to show other people that I had a vice because one of the big things about me is I hate feeling dependent on other people or objects and I was feeling dependent on it. I didn't want to be dependent on a chemical anymore. I didn't want to wake up and think about it all the time. So for me to kick this makes me feel really good about myself and I really appreciate you guys for tuning into that. So see you guys next Monday.